This is the last video in a series of quick screencasts that show Istio CA cert rotation and how to do that to minimize downtime. And in the previous videos, we saw that if you change the root CA, even if you have an intermediate, that if you change the root, that it will break the MTLS contracts and configuration that uh, you know when services try to communicate. In the immediately previous video, what we showed is to rotate the root without this breakage, you have to trust both the old root certificate as well as the new root certificate. And so what we did was we installed the, the new and old root certificates on Istio and on all of the workloads. So in this last demo, we should see uh, roots intermediate. What we're going to do, actually, just let's look at this. If we look at the certs, what we did is we started off with root A. We signed a couple of intermediates. We rotated those. We showed that if you uh, come from the same root, that this traffic and the the, the trust is uh, able to be established. But in, in, the, in the previous demo, we installed a, um, a root certificate that included both root A and B, so that when we rotate in an intermediate that had been signed by B, then the workloads and the traffic uh, between them, TLS between them, won't break. So let's, let's try that. Multiple routes, rotate out the intermediate. So this new intermediate that we're going to um, introduce has been signed by root B, which is different than in the uh, previous videos and different than what's there right now. So we're going to create this CA certs, this time for an intermediate CA signed by root B. And in the root certificate, we have a trust of both A and B. So let's restart Istio to pick up this new certificate chain. Come here to Istio, make sure everything works. Looks fine. Come here. Very good. Now let's restart HB bin service. So what this is going to do is we're going to um, get our new workload certificates that have been signed by an intermediate CA that we just introduced that has it's it's trust in root B, but the sleep pod still is on the intermediate from root A. So if we try to call from sleep to HTTP bin, these are two different routes, but the traffic succeeds, unlike we saw in video one, where we changed the routes and the traffic broke. And this is because we took the step of introducing root A and B as trusted routes for the workloads. Now, from here, what we can do is slowly cycle um, all of the workloads and, or either manually cycle them or allow them to routes to expire and reissue. And eventually, all of the all of the workloads should be on uh, should have certificates that have been signed by the intermediate that has its trust in root B. And then from there, we can slowly um, remove uh, root A as a trusted root from the workloads. So that shows you how to do a uh, zero downtime rotation of your root certificate authority from, from Istio. Again, this is Christian Posta. Um, check us out on, on YouTube, on the solo.io channel. Uh, reach out to me. Um, I'm covering a lot of this stuff in, in blogs as well as my book, Istio in Action, so um, check that out. And thanks again for, for watching.